The 2013 Lesley University commencement is called to order. Whether you have completed a major in history or illustration, English or photography, global studies, animation, art therapy or design, you've learned more than specific facts and skills, such as the ability to analyze and consider complexity, the ability to communicate both personally and professionally, and the ability to work independently and collaboratively. Congratulations. This is a rare treat to be able to introduce the soundtrack and the creator of the soundtrack of my life. <laughs> Graham Nash, you are a legendary singer, songwriter, and vocal harmonist, as well as a gifted photographer and digital imaging pioneer. Your iconic music was a call to action during the turbulent 60s and 70s inspiring and consoling a generation, and your timeless songs are still relevant and resonant nearly a half century later. Can you believe it? <laughs> no. As a founding member of Crosby, Stills & Nash, you were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1997. And in 2010, you were inducted for a second time as a member of the Hollies, the British band that originally skyrocketed your career. Your popularity with both of these groups is unparalleled, as evidenced by multiple awards, Grammys, and a place in the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Your performance at Woodstock which I wish I could remember. <laughs> it's true. Has been hailed as one of the most memorable, which on that crowded stage of revolutionary performers is extraordinary high praise. The songs you've written and recorded represent some of the most memorable of the era, from the Marrakesh Express on your first Crosby, Stills and Nash album, to the Ohio Anthem to the campus tragedy at Kent State in 1969. To our house and just a song before I go, the list goes on and on, but certainly one of your most enduring songs is Teach Your Children. Always driven to create, you are a passionate photographer with a body of work spanning over 50 years. Now one of the world's premier fine art photographic printmaking houses, Nash Editions, opened in 1991, has been recognized by the Smithsonian for its role in the invention of digital fine art printing. Your own brilliant photography is a tribute to your father and demonstrates a unique vision that has earned you numerous awards. Your creative spirit effort effortlessly integrates the visual arts and music and you have been called a man who is fundamentally tuned in to the world. Your seminal No Nukes, Musicians United for Safe Energy, benefit concerts in 1979 remain today as sustained evidence of the power of the arts to influence public awareness and bring about change. You continue to speak out and sing in support of social and environmental justice and peace and in 2010, you were named Officer of the Order of the British Empire by the Queen. Here we go, this is the finish. Graham Nash, in recognition of your enduring gift of music, your creativity in photography, and innovation in printmaking, and your continuing efforts to improve our planet, 
Wesley University is proud to confer upon you the honorary degree Doctor of Fine Arts given in Boston, Massachusetts on the 18th day of May in the year 2013. Rock on. Good afternoon. How are you all doing? I'm of course very pleased to be here. And I thank everybody at AIB, or as you know now, now, now um, Leslie University. Congratulations, you've earned it. A hundred years of making art important in people's lives. Fantastic. I was, uh, I came from a very poor family in the north of England, in Manchester. And my parents were nothing but encouraging to me. When half my friends their parents were slapping them upside the head and asking them to get a real job down the mines or in the mill. My parents encouraged me to be a musician. They knew where my heart was, and I'll be forever grateful to them. In fact, the no matter what you think of your parents, you should honor them. Absolutely. And in the words of some minor composer, they taught me well. <laughs> your teachers are here to encourage you. They're here to open your hearts and your minds to the possibilities of the future. They're here to give you a voice Every single person here, out there and here, has a voice. And we have a responsibility to use that voice. I've been using my voice for a long, long time. I'm over 70 now, and it all went so fast. Yesterday, on May 17th, it was 50 years to the day that my band, The Hollies, released their first single. I've been with David and Stephen for nearly uh, 45 years, and I realize who I want to be in my life through them, and also who I don't want to be in my life. I look around here and I realize that my partner Crosby has socks much older than you. <laughs> you think I'm kidding, I'm not. Time. Time is our only currency. You have to use it well. And art is not just the canvas you're painting on, or the block of stone you're carving, or the photograph you're taking. It's your life. You have to make every single thing you do art, whether it's making a cup of tea, whether it's patting and encouraging a child, it's all art. You have to do it the best way you can. In my own way, I'm trying to be the best father I can, the best friend I can be, the best musician I can be. I'll never make it, but at least I'm trying. <laughs> even Bill Gates and Warren Buffett and Mark Zuckerberg and even the Koch brothers with all their fortunes can't buy one second of time. Use it wisely. I don't give advice, but if I was asked to give advice, <laughs> it would be very simple for me. You have to find your passion. You have to find something that turns you on. 
You have to find something that fills your heart with joy. You have to find something that makes you wake up every morning with a smile. You can do it. You have to find your passion. Congratulations. I'm going to sing you a song. How are your voices? Will you help me sing this? Look at them and sigh. 